Free State-born Derek Matthews is a man driven by a great sense of compassion and selflessness. Shortly after university, he felt he needed to do something that would benefit not only himself but others as well. He was brave enough to leave the comfort of his home for the streets where he experienced the daily ordeals of drug addicts. His aim was to come up with an effective program that would permanently help those enslaved by addiction. On the street, it's ruthless, it's relentless. Um, the scary thing about drugs is it doesn't discriminate. They're rich, poor, young, old, rich, poor, dumb, clever, everybody ends up there. I was smoking weed in school. I think everybody starts with weed. And uh, somebody said to me, come, let's try this new stuff. It's angel dust. And I used it and I got hooked, and before I realized, I was a full-blown heroin addict. Ivan is now in rehab, hoping to overcome his old enemy. Derek Matthews runs the facility that is helping Ivan. But his story is different. He was never an addict. Having been involved in Christian youth groups at school, Derek was always passionate about helping people. But I just don't want to help the normal people. There's something that was calling me for something extra. Answering his calling, Derek left the clergy to face what he felt was a social poison. He found work at the Pretoria Rehabilitation Center, but that wasn't enough. Derek needed to understand the true nature of drug addiction. He left the comfort of his home to experience life on the streets firsthand. People started teaching me about drugs, and drugs in the street, how to get it, what's the science, all those kind of things. And then I got the heartbeat for what, this, what the addicts on the streets are really going through. But after years of rehab work, Derek felt many centers were out of touch with the needs of addicts and their affected families. I realized that the, the impact that the family can have on the child is so important that I realized we need to have a place closer to the cities. With the help of generous donors, Derek acquired this dilapidated building in Nigel Gauteng and officially opened the Freedom Recovery Center in 2008. The center has been operating for six years. It is a fully functional rehab, helping addicts through a multifaceted program. Apart from its skills development initiative, Freedom Recovery Center is equipped with medical facilities and professionals for effective drug detoxation. It also has a gym to keep recovering addicts fit. We play sport together, we're all gymming together, and your brothers look out for you. Huh? They, when, you when you're in a rough spot, that's when somebody comes and encourages you. This halfway house is the most crucial aspect of Derek's recovery program. It helps addicts rebuild relationships with their loved ones. Some, like Kimo van der Merve, have since recovered fully. I started using Mandrax, Kaja, Mandrax, and you know, slowly I progressed to, to, to tuck. I basically stole my parents' safe, and I had a choice you know, I landed up in prison, I had a choice to go to, to post my prison or to, to get my life in order. I came here and, you know, my life, my life changed drastically, you know, from, from where I used to be. Derek Matthews, an ordinary man with a burning desire for change, is the reason why so many precious lives are being saved. It's a feeling you cannot describe 
to anyone you know it's um it's better than an oscar it's better than uh, awards that kind of things it's better than any money in the world in any case There you have it. If you are inspired by Derek's initiative and would like to get involved in any way, his contact details are on your screen. Well, that's it for now. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. The people who are committed to making South Africa a country of possibilities. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers. Cheers.